There's so many tumbleweeds, the city had to go in and get plows or whatever to move all the tumbleweeds because it was that windy. Before Brock left back on his mission, he got his DNA tested. And actually, <laughs> fun fact about twins is that we have the exact same DNA. Some people just don't believe that Brock and I are actually identical twins. Dude, this weather today, windiest it's ever been in all of Utah. Literally, I thought there was gonna be a tornado or something today, even though tornadoes don't really happen in Utah. I think they have happened before actually like one time, but it was like super small and I don't think anything got ruined. Wait, is this? It looks like it's hailing right now. You can't tell. Come on, come on, drop in my hand. Well. Gosh, it already melted, frick. If you can't tell, it looks like little dipping dots. What I was coming out to tell you was, so this thing right here was right there. It blew like all the way over. I'm surprised, oh, that box of like hoses blew over too. I've been in the house like pretty much all day today and all day yesterday. So I'm gonna head out. We're gonna go to the store because I need to pick up a few things. I'm gonna be making some oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. These ones are seriously so good. So if you wanna screenshot the recipe, you can. I'm not making them today. I'm actually making them tomorrow because I'm going to a family dinner. We have a bunch of family that lives here in Utah. So our tradition is like usually to get together on like the first Sunday of the month and that's when we do like birthday dinners and stuff. I'm in charge of bringing sour cream and cookies because I wanted to bring something. Like I wanted to like kind of contribute and stuff. First off, got to plug in my music. I've been listening to, if you didn't watch the last vlog where I did like a drive through thing, it was so fun. Wait, I was going in like ordering secret menu items and I did like a little drive with me video and that was so fun. But in the vlog, I was saying that I was just listening to like 2020 music, top hits from TikTok. Also my friend, and Ava came out with a song. You guys have to listen to it. So this is the song. It's by Ava Liv Mabry and Coburn Larson. It's called You'll, J You'll Be Just Fine. And it is seriously so good. I'm gonna listen to my music, grab my drink, and then we'll head over to the store right now. Love, thank you. I have a little note on my phone because if I don't have notes like what I need to get, then I just end up getting random crap and then I forget what I'm about to get. I'm calling my mom because I don't want to get the wrong stuff. Um, I need to get sour cream for the Sunday dinner. What kind should I get? Got all the sour cream. I always check for the best dates and this one says May 20th, 2024. That's my birthday. How crazy is that? got all the groceries right here. Head home, but before that, I always scan my receipts on this app called Fetch Rewards. It's not sponsored, but I just use it all the time. Scan my receipt, swipe up on it. It, it literally just gives you like random points when you scan receipts, and then the points later turn into like money and you can get gift cards with it. 25 points right there. Maybe after I scan a few more receipts, I'll, I'll have some gift cards to use. I'll also leave my referral code down below because if you sign up, you get points, and then I also get points too. Pretty much are just like getting free money. Not exactly like that. I feel like you have to scan your receipts quite a bit and then you'll start making, getting gift card stuff. But I'm grabbing all this stuff. This was like more expensive than all the things that I got when I went to Trader Joe's. I should have just gotten all this stuff from Trader Joe's instead. Here's all the things we got. Butter for the cookies tomorrow. This green onion cheese ball. I'm sure there's a recipe somewhere else like if you don't have a Harmon's Bayou. But it's just like a cheese ball dip. It's so good. Sour cream. I got a salad because I feel like I just like need a salad for something when I make stuff. Ooh, I'm excited to try these. I got these and these don't have in rich flour because I have this thing it's called it's like a gene mutation thing or whatever so long story short like before Brock left back on his mission we got he got his DNA tested and actually <laughs> fun fact about twins is that we have the exact same DNA so whatever it said on Brock's report is like literally what my report would be and so Brock has like this like gene mutation I have this gene mutation or whatever I'm sure that like most people have probably heard of it it's like where you the way your body methylates the food it's like harder on your body so that's why I get things with like no enriched flour that's what I've at least been trying because like I'm still not gonna like fully give up all the good stuff. Bro, I should tell you guys more about that DNA test because it's actually insane. Like the stuff, it's crazy. Then I got bananas. Then I got two things of butterscotch chocolate chips because I kind of wanted to try butterscotch oatmeal cookies. So maybe I'll throw some of those in there. Brock and Kessel used to make these all the time. It's the scotcheroos and you use butterscotch. So I got 
that just in case. And then chocolate chips. But for real, I got a lot of good stuff. Oh my gosh. Remember how I was vlogging like two seconds ago? Look how snowy it is right now. This is crazy. It literally feels like December right now, even though it's March. I hope Utah starts warming up because I just don't love when it's cold. I'm FaceTiming Alyssa to see how my niece is. I still haven't changed her contact name because her last name's now Johnson, not Mike Excel anymore. Look who it is, Alyssa Johnson. I need to change your, I need to change your name. Uh, oh yeah, Dude, I never, I always forget to do that for people. What are you guys doing right now? Just filming Aura's TikTok. Real. Fun. How's my niece doing? She's asleep. Oh, that's good. Is the weather crazy where you're at? It's the wind is insane. Crazy where you're at. Do you want to see? Look. Is that so much inversion? Yeah, well, and it's just, it's so snowy right now. Like, it's not even catching up on camera. It looks so, like, light on, on camera, but it's like... Is there lightning? Lightning? Uh-uh, no. But it's been so windy, like, all of our patio furniture flew around. Like, I seriously thought there was gonna be a tornado or something. <laughs> yeah, and all of our neighbor's stuff was blowing around. I can't believe it. You know around the Betty's office? There's so there's so many tumbleweeds. The city had to go in and get plows or whatever to move all the tumbleweeds because it was that windy. The people couldn't pull out of their cars because there were literally just like tumbleweeds stacked up. I've been reading some comments lately and just on like our TikToks, like our YouTube shorts and like all of that. Whenever we say something like identical twins or it's this one video of us saying like we're twins. Of course we have our own secret language. We're twins. Of course we switch places at school and it just like goes on and on and on. We're identical twins. Of course we're gonna fight over who the mistake was. We're twins. Of course we're gonna have our own secret language. We're twins. Of course we switch places at school. We're twins. Of course we're gonna have the same crush on the same girl. Shut! We're twins. Of, of course, course you're, you're seeing, seeing double. We're twins. Of course we share the same birthday every single year. And we're never mad about it. We're twins. Of course twin telepathy is real. <sighs> Think of the shape <laughs> in three, two, one. Triangle. Triangle. All right, wait, let's try, let's try this. Um, think of a color. Three, two, one. Blue. blue. <laughs> <laughs> it actually worked. All right, a number, a number, one through 10, a number, one through 10, okay? Three, two, one, four. Two. Ah, bro, I keep... All right. Yours isn't working, mine was. We're twins, we're each other's built-in best friend. <laughs> we're twins, of course the older one gets the better grades. <laughs> that is not true. It is though, it actually is. Check my GPA. 3-9. Comment, Comment if you, you want to see part two. two. And in some of the comments, people don't believe us that we're identical twins. And I don't know if it's like people don't understand that like identical twins, like you don't look identical, but like genetically you're identical. So I'm like, maybe that's what people are saying. Some people just don't believe that Brock and I are actually identical twins. But back to the whole DNA thing or whatever that we did. My mom found this doctor and he does genetic DNA stuff. You'll get like a swab of your DNA. You send it in, you get it test. And like he like hand goes in and like sees all the different gene like mutations and like things that you have. A few things that he found that were, uh, that are actually so cool. Both, and he, he actually tested my dad too. My dad and me, cause well I guess it's the same as Brock, we get bad anxiety. Well the thing is, is that in our DNA, so what he was saying is that our, when we get so much adrenaline, it's hard, it's harder for our bodies to break down all the adrenaline that we got. And so that can lead to just like feeling panicky or anxious. That was just, exa for example, for one of them. He'll tell you like what different things are good for you. For example, me, a lot of people with anxiety will take like ashwagandha to like help calm down their brain, but that just brings down my serotonin level which like my body has a harder time of like processing that it's just so cool and then another thing he was talking to about just like supplements and like nutrients for your body he says like not like, like you shouldn't just be taking tons and tons of supplements he said there definitely are some that like you'll need more than others for example like vitamin d like the way he tested my genetics and mainly everyone is like pretty deficient in vitamin d the other thing is magnesium too i've been taking magnesium like literally every single night i should actually show you what it is because i feel like when people talk about supplements Sometimes I'm always like iffy. I'm like, do they really work? Like what they're saying. This is one of the magnesiums that he told us to take. And then there's this other one. It's called like mag, mag tin or something. But literally it has the seven different types of magnesium. I just take it an hour before I go to bed. Literally has helped with my sleep. Like I've actually felt an improvement from it. <laughs> the funny thing about it too. I told my friend, I was like, you struggle like trying to fall asleep. I gave one to him and he tried it and he's like, dude, this is like literally the best. Are we actually identical twins? Let me show you this picture. This is like in 2007 before Easter. Some of the old pictures I look back at, I'm like, wait, is this me or is this me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this one's me though. 
Can you tell who is who in this picture? If you comment right, I'll Venmo you a dollar. This is seriously so fun, looking back at all of like the scrapbook memories and stuff that my mom did. Like she did this, and then she did like a blog forever. So we have like so many random memories saved. I'm looking through another scrapbook, and it was when my parents were first married. <laughs> they got married so young. I think my dad was like, he had just turned 20, and then my mom was 18. I think about, about to be like 19. They got married so early. Like I look back and I'm like, if I got married, like if I got married at 18 right now, I would be married for almost like two years now, which is like, it's crazy to think about. Look at this picture I found of them. Isn't this so funny? Like, look at my dad, like his big shoes and his long pants. It's so funny. This was my mom when she was 22 years old with Alyssa. So crazy. These old pictures are seriously so fun to look back at.